Hey, it's your girl Mel from Shop Talk, and this is the, some of the Shop Talk crew that came on today. Our topic was dying to be thin, and we talked about different diets and how you lose friends. We talked about the gastric bypass, the lap band, the sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, the sleeve. We talked about a whole bunch of different things if you want to catch the show you still can do that because it's on podcast so you can go to blogtalkradio.com backslash shop talk with mail and click on that link and guess what you can hear your girl and the crew kicking it live <laughs> we got on the topic of uh losing friends our guest was robin um she called from called in to the show from alabama and she was talking about that she had had the uh, the lap band. Yeah. So we talked about that lap band and how it actually made her sick. So it has a different effect on everybody. So before we even get started, I just want to let you know in case I forget, because y'all know how I get sidetracked. Um, consult your physician before you go on any type of diet or meet with anybody to do surgery make sure it's okay and please be honest with them if you have hypertension high blood pressure any type of issues just be totally honest with them so that you know to make sure that you get treated right we don't want nothing to happen to you okay all right now we talked about the whole friendship thing let's elaborate on that a little bit as far as like robin was saying how you know you'll lose friends or you'll gain friends and then uh brent you talked about that so let's talk let's y'all talk Go ahead, somebody. Well, I, I think um, whenever you kind of change your interests and stuff like that, you lose and gain friends. I mean, for example, if I was um, doing something like, let's say I, I, there was a group of people who I wanted to ride bikes with or, or something like that. Well, then my, more of my time would go to that activity. So my friendships would probably change because I may have other friends that may say, hey, I don't want to ride a bike. You know, but I got a group of friends that want to ride bikes and that's my interest now. But I could still be your friend and not yeah. want to lose weight. So I don't understand. Like, if I want to eat a Twinkie and you losing weight, I'm going to come over to your house and I might eat that Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but if you're around me, I'm going to always like, don't do that. If you know this is what I'm trying to do, and then you're not going to want to hang with me because you can't do those things around me. Now that, now I'm and understanding. That's, and that's how it happened. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking, well, this is my lifestyle. I want you to live my lifestyle. And without even asking, I'm just, I'm just bringing you into it. This is what you're going to do if you're going to hang with me. Really? Yeah, we shut all of it down. Okay, well, here's the deal. I don't drink. So, do you guys drink? Occasionally. Okay. okay, so should I say, well, I don't drink. So, guess what? This is what I do, and y'all shouldn't be drinking. Everybody need to be drinking some tea, or otherwise I'm shutting it down. Well, I think if it's your house and you have a party and you say, hey, I'm only having these types of beverages at your house, then you're, it's fine. But if you if you say, hey, we're going to all go out to the, uh, I don't know, the restaurant, whatever restaurant. If is. I'm only serving tea, you be like, y'all going to drink this tea. You yeah. better drink this tea. Now, <laughs> <laughs> the question is, we sneak some Henny up in the tea party. <laughs> Listen, that always happens. They come in there with them gift bags. You think it's a, you know, a present for you and it's liquor. <laughs> I'll be like, Miss Quater. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but you know, I, th I think that's uh, when, when you start to change your environments, you, you start to meet new people. I think the thing is, is can you be, when you're making that change, can you be a bridge in between those two groups of people? So does personality change when you lose weight? Oh, yeah. And see, now I've seen that. A lot. I'm like, uh oh, you, you lost your personality. Uh-oh. Lost it. Lost it. Didn't enhance it. Lost it. Okay. And then they turn into somebody totally different. Now I, I have I have witnessed that, but I understand. Like I'm I still communicate with the person and I don't think they know. Cause I have learned. Mel, please stop. I said, okay, so I have learned to not answer a question unless somebody asks me. I've learned that. It took me some time. But I got there. <laughs> now, if they ask me if I think they changed, I'm like, mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm going to tell you because this is what I witnessed. Now, I did intervene in this part. I witnessed the person talk about somebody else that was overweight. Mm. That was an issue for me because, like, not long ago, you mm -hmm. were that person. So you should really sympathize with them. Right. And understand and say, hey, guess what? This would, or empathize. Right. Guess what? This was you so you know how it made you feel so why would you feel any type of way or why would you just because you decide to lose 10 pounds or whatever the case may be 
oh no, that's not drastic enough. You yeah. decide to lose 50 pounds. Don't come bothering me because I'm content. And right. start telling me about how my healthy eating, or you, like you said, you were a healthy right. eater and trying to put no, your no. beliefs on me. Mm -hmm. So in a situation as that, as far as losing friends, that seems reasonable though. Well, let's, let's think about that though. Sometimes you're in a situation where you may make a change and that other person may want to make that change too. And then you say something to them like, well, why don't you just, you know, kind of do this or do that. And then they get offended because... Well, they want to make the change. So why would they get married? Well, they may want to make the change, but they may not have the dedication. Clearly. So Matt, but you said something. But, you, but not, but let's just say like, okay, it's, it's me and you or something uh, and I lose 50 pounds and you're saying, man, I just wish my clothes fit better. And I was like, hey, well, why don't you, you know, lose some weight or something like that. And, and then I'm like, you say, me, you call me fat. You call me fat. And yeah. it's, right. it's all about the presentation. Like say, you know, like you might like your Twinkies and I'm like, I can't have those. And you know, you don't got to that 12 pack sitting right there. And I know I can't eat them. Right. Whatever they come, whatever they come in. in. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just saying, maybe like, you know, well, maybe you could just eat one because, you know, I really can't eat that. So can you just like maybe eat, you know, a few now and then try to do, come back and get some later instead of eating them all at one time and like try to help you work in moderation so we can work on it together. You know what I'm saying? Then you might be like, maybe I should just eat one right now. Okay. Instead of trying to eat them all one right now. Okay. I had to play like devil's advocate. Only reason I brought that up is because I wanted to see what your response was. So I guess that's almost like a, a recovering crack addict. Like if you're a, recover a recovering crack addict, I can't come to your house and smoke crack. I mean, I don't smoke crack, let's get that clear. <laughs> but I'm saying, yeah, so you wouldn't be around it if that's your weakness. So I understand that out, out of respect. Right. Now you said if somebody's trying to make the same changes and then you make a suggestion and then they get upset. Yeah. Well, if they're trying to make those changes or if they're complaining about it, then do something about it. That's, that's what I said. It's about true. the presentation. But, but, so you got to walk lightly? Well, no, no, I mean, to them, you know, it's like if you do it, like you said, if he's like, you know, well, you could, you know, just like you said about the clothes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they're like, well, I don't want, you know what I'm saying? So like you said, some people don't want to do that. But if you just like, well, let, you know what, just let, let's go to the store real quick. And the store is right down the street. You're like, well, I don't want to walk. It's right there. We can walk, you know, and start that way. Do you think anybody gets jealous of their friend? Hmm. Because they lost all that weight? And that's why they say they changed? I, I think that could happen. I think, I think, I mean, it may not be, it may, admiration could possibly turn into envy. Okay. So, which will cause a friendship to end. Yeah. Or splinter it. Or splinter it. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So what's your thoughts? Talk to me, baby. What you mean, y'all? No, like, like she's like, you got me on blast. They're going to be like, I know you said it. You was talking about me on YouTube. <laughs> and I know you was talking about me. No. I've always wondered, I mean, I've never been in that place, so I can't really speak for anybody, and I am not the skinniest one, so don't get, get it twisted. But I've never been in that place to say, oh, I understand how you feel, or I know how you feel. And it may be, it may be offensive to some, because you'll see me eating all types of stuff that I have. And if somebody is on a diet, you know, not eating it in front of them probably would be the nice thing, but you might have to remind me. But you know what though, I don't, it, it's from personal experience. Okay, I'll go on a fast. Right? Okay. And so my siblings, is one of my siblings, she'll be like, well, I was gonna ask you out to dinner, but I know you're fasting. And I'm like, well, what, what, what does it matter? What's on your plate is on your plate. You know what I'm yes! saying? And my, my thing should be, if, if I have the, if I'm, if I'm truly conscious about what I wanna do, what you're doing won't affect me anyway. And when I'm fasting, I definitely ain't thinking about you. I got I'm, I'm meditating on God. You know what I mean? Okay. So so it makes a weird dynamic for me because I'm like, well, why wouldn't you want to go out? I could still get something, and even if I couldn't, I enjoy your company. company. You know. So or you could say no. It's like still ask, huh? Right. Yeah, or you could yeah, decline. It's, it's like right. a weird time. Whenever I start fasting, it's like really weird. People are like, I don't know. Like I, like I. You know, because sometimes like, they want to see if you yeah. really practicing what you're doing. You know, like I did the 21 day fast. Okay, I did it, and yeah. that's why like, I was on Facebook. Not, not wait. Days. Oh, oh, that was I your fast. Everything. Facebook. I did everything. 21 day fast. What what other fast did you do? Like, tell me. Tell, I, like I just, you know, I ate. Like I only ate between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. 
Okay. And that's when after, you know, so I gave up social media. Like I wasn't on none of the social medias and mm -hmm. I just do cleansing myself from a lot of negative stuff that I thought was negative for me. Cause I yeah, know, cause I know how I be on Facebook, so I'm like, nah, I think I know. I'm like, I wasn't working at the time, so I'm like, I was always on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I said, let me. Do you know how many people were texting me like, did you block me off Facebook? Did not, not one of them asked, was I okay? They just was concerned if I blocked them on Facebook. Did you block? Them? Oh, right. see, everybody is in their feelings. Yeah. They are in their feelings. Hey, have you ever seen somebody, or you be like, or you're unfriended? Cause sometimes I notice how. I'll be an unfriended somebody and I didn't unfriend them. Like, you know, just, they're just this year. Facebook does it. Yeah. But you see them out in the grocery store, they don't even want to talk. Dude, they're just Facebook. I thought we was cool. Like, you see, and then they told me, they was like, well, you unfriended me on Facebook. I said, who? I don't even be on there like that. They said, um, well, I seen that we weren't friends. I said, are we friends? Do you know me? Well, yeah, we're cool. Who cares about that? Yeah, you know, you know what's also what I, I mean, it's, it's in a Facebook thing, but I hate about like social media is the ambiguous like stuff people put up there, like um, you know, praying for such and such. You know, and you, you be thinking like, well, okay, you should probably just pray if you know it, it's someone instead of posting it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, like, it's just some things I read on there. I'm like, man, I really wish I knew what they were talking about. Because it's yeah. just something that I mean, they know. So I can get right. so like, yeah. 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 or, or even not even such even a prayer thing, but it's just like, you know, like, it, I, I don't know. It's just. I, so, like, when I put on waiting on another shoe to fall, you be like, what is she talking about? Yeah, what is she talking about? Right. Because, I mean, you, you never heard old, a lot of older people say that. Like, Say if you know something, like say for instance you date. Now wait, say that again. Say that old adage on, again. I'm waiting on another shoe to fall. Okay, what does that mean? That means it's about to hit the fan. What you like? Say for instance you date somebody, you felt they were cheating. Oh, it's all about to come out now. You wait on that shoe to fall. Everything oh, is going okay. to come out. My grandfather used to say that all the time. Well, he would always say that. That's what I'm telling you. Everything hit the fan. That's why we used to need post. Oh, meaning it's gonna be trouble. Right. Trouble. Trouble. Right. <laughs> Right, it's going down. But, but I feel like y'all kind of like going it alone. Like, like, it's like, right. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, I just why are like, you telling well, me? Yeah. I thought everybody knew what they like. I mean, only old people say that. Like, well, I'm well, kind of old. I was raised for older people's so that's why. But you know, well, I, I mean, but, but if you post it, right. he's like, if you're posting it and you're right. sharing it with the world, share everything. <laughs> I'm sure at all. Like, don't have step. I mean, it's like like somebody put it on your fire. And I'm like, here? Right. <laughs> you not run. Right. Right. You right. 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 Stop dropping the ball. Right. Want to open the door to play and be like, oh, yeah, like, like oh, no, yeah, let on. me know. Tell me the whole story. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least enough to let me know I'm safe. Right, <laughs> I'm right. Like, Is it me? Right. I didn't know I meant it to. You right. know what I mean? Oh. Hilarious. So, yeah, so that's what the social media, but it, I mean, it is used for a good you know, content, it can be used for a networking is good yeah. for networking. But some of the stuff on there is off the hook and bananas. And speaking of that, um, we we're talking about the emoji on Facebook that says um, they removed it. A grad uh, student got 5,000 people to sign a petition to remove the emoji. Is that what it's called? Emoji? Yeah. 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 Of feeling fat. Now you got like a thousand on there, and I think that that's just absolutely ridiculous. What happens right. to our choices? We get, I think we should just choose what we want to choose, right. do what we want to do, as long as we're not hurting anyone. We have become so sensitive, and we talked about that in society that it's like, oh, well, I don't want to hurt their feelings. How in the world is how I'm feeling hurting your feelings? Right. I and, can't and, get that, it. and that's what I always say. But how, like, and that's what I always say. Like, how to do what I do affect you personally? Like, right. Like, how is come that on, people. Come on, what you back there with some insurance cards? Yeah. <laughs> These what, are like what you gonna get the lab band or something? Free, free discount for insurance, uh, I guess. Oh, free like, discount, healthcare yeah, lines. Like, <laughs> I heard that. Way to pass it out. Now that's what I'm talking about. Using look, using social media to for networking. <laughs> network. <laughs> Don't the word. Yeah. Network. I was given those and they said anyway, I can use them. I said, but these people use it. Right, hey, I appreciate that. It's like when you go and you get a prescription, you can turn that in. It's like discount. So. Oh, that's good. It oh, said this okay. is not insurance. So yeah, get this clear. is not insurance. But not it's certain, right. But certain uh, insurances do pay for like the gastric bypass mm -hmm. and the sleep. If you are, I think it was 100 pounds overweight mm -hmm. or something like that, that they'll actually go ahead and pay for it if it's a health issue. Um, 
I do want to say, just as I said earlier, when you were working, we were shop talking about how you could go with your partner and they be done had a surgery talking about um won't he do it when you say girl you look good won't he do it knowing that the doctor didn't did it god ain't did that the doctor didn't did that with god you know let me not say it that way right god the knowledge of the doctor came from, from god. god i was oblivious to what y'all said I, uh, right. you said he'll do that yeah he yeah, won't he do it? Like, won't God do it? Yeah, won't he do it? <laughs> right, it's, just, it's just like he woke up and was like, okay, it's that be gone. Yeah, that's go right. right. Okay. Boom, you're gone. Yeah. Oh. Talking about you done worked out. Yes, Lord. yes, he did. Knowing you don't want to have surgery and you didn't cheat it, but your partner's still trying to get it in. It's like, right. oh my goodness, oh. Well, what's wrong with me? It could become discouraging. Right, because then they be like, won't you work out with me? Oh, you know what? I'm kind of, yeah, because you ain't work out in the first place. Right. That's why you don't want to so, help me. And I think that, you know, sharing it, because Robin brought that part up, sharing it with somebody to say, okay, this is what I did. Not that you have to do it this way but I lost so much weight because I did this and now I work out every day but I got a jump start I got a head start mm -hmm. right so it's probably gonna take more time you know what I'm saying so I mean just keep it 100 do you and if you happy with being you definitely be you who am I to come and say oh no you need to do A B C and D no you shouldn't do that or you telling me no you shouldn't eat that or you saying uh what did what is uh, oh no we yeah oh no we ain't gonna uh we ain't gonna ask you to go to dinner with uh, no we're not gonna ask you since you fast oh, yeah, yeah. you counted out you on the do not call list like, <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. like what happened what did i do right and what other topics did we talk about we were talking about the clothes Oh, the soft uh, service stuff. The soft service. <laughs> yeah, the clothes. Yeah, you bless your heart. The Myrtle, the Myrtle Beach muffin top. Came out. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that story. That was funnier than a mug. Wow. Talking about went down there, thought they was going to Myrtle, was going to be yeah. in the what five percent town, and then they ended up being in the seventy five percent town. Yeah. Oh, everybody big muffin right. tops are. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> By the time I shirt or not, I'm like cover up. Who needs that? that? Like, <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. What else was there um, that we shall talk about today? Uh, the, the gentleman who um, stood up for it. Oh, he didn't stand. He didn't oh, stand. yeah, local Youngstown, the coach. The coach that stood up for, um, that spoke on behalf of a guy that was sentenced to, what did I say, death row? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the caller um, called in and said he was sentenced to death row. Um, but I knew that he was sentenced and he spoke on his behalf and he was talking about his character as he knew him. And the school not wanting to, uh, they wanted him to resign. So they had to vote on renewing his contract. So that's like a big thing yeah. in this area. Um, we're not going to say the name of the school, but anybody in this area know. But I will tell you this, since it's public knowledge, um, the coach, which is a very, very good person. Um, I know him personally. That's my boy. Hey, doing good. Uh, Kevin Kyler, mm -hmm. C-Y-L-A-R. Um, then you could go ahead and you could Google it and then it'll tell you all the school and everything that you want to know about it. Um, but for him, here's somebody that's doing something positive. Now, usually don't get on a whole right. black, white thing, but here's a positive black man right. that is doing something good. And people don't understand even being a coach, you are more than just a coach to those kids. And I'm like, coaches, they are like major roles, major roles, because you may be a father to somebody, an uncle to somebody, yeah. um, confidant. Um, they're looking for a direction, a counselor. So coaches that they got a lot, lot on their shoulder, yeah, 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 a lot. So it's not just hey, do this play, run, and just go ahead, and this is what you do. Right. It's more to it. So this gentleman, I obviously felt comfortable to call him. Now on that note, the legalities of being, and and I don't even want to say like legalities because he didn't break the law or anything like that. Because here's a positive role model that wanted to speak. He'll go to freedom of speech, speak on his behalf. That's pretty much being penalized. Now, what's your thoughts? The truth. Let's shop. I, I don't, you know, I don't think there, you know, like I said, he spoke about the time he knew of the young man, you know what I'm saying? And what he observed and the time spent with him. So like I said, what that young man did after, I mean, as he grew older, that's on him. But if y'all want to call this man in the office, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want him like, that's, that's ridiculous. I wonder what his contract said. Don't they have right. contracts that's and stuff like that? Like, is that it? You know, I don't, usually like when there's extracurricular activities, it's not, I, like I haven't seen anything that would go, that where that would be an issue. You know, like I don't know if there, if he had a special contract with some sort of morality clause or something like that, that would be any different from you know, any other person that would be hired in a position to work with, with children. You know, I don't see him 
I don't I don't know how that is a you know a, about, it seems like it's something they just didn't want him to do. Okay, you know, so they yeah. probably, so they probably, you know what, and that's clearly is something yeah. that they didn't want him to do. Right. I wonder, you know, doing that, because I've never done the extracurricular activity, so I don't even know. I'm just shop talking. I'm Look, I'm just talking. I'm wondering if there's like something like in the fine print to say, okay, before you go speak publicly, you have to get it, okay, clear through us or well, what? I'm thinking that would probably be with any employer, though. Right, any I mean, employer, like, you right. Know, you know, so how how is he talking about it? Is he talking about, like, is he saying this from the perspective, like, this is a young man I went to church with or this is a young man I coached? Like, I, I you know, I don't know what he said. I don't know what, they, what their problems were, what, what he said, mm -hmm. you know? It just seems that... um for him that for his job to be in jeopardy or did he did he resign well, there, there, no he didn't resign okay so they have a year-to-year -year contract so they have to okay. vote so the voting process haven't even started yet so they're kind of like jumping so so more than likely he, he won't come up for a renewal for that particular position is that for what, that reason that's what we're, that, that's what we're if Socially. they ask you to resign if the superintendent mm -hmm. is asking you to resign that's pretty much like uh yeah i want to fire you but you got a year contract Right, but so go saying, ahead and walk out. So just go ahead and walk away. I think it has to be something more with you know, like I said, the ones that that want him to come into the office. What's going on on y'all end? Why y'all don't want me to talk about this? You know, what I'm saying maybe there is their reputation. What's the big? Yeah, right. what's the bigger issue? Is he a teacher? <laughs> no, he's just a coach. Oh, he's just he's a coach. coach. Right. Yeah, he he's just a coach. Okay. And that's All what right. I'm saying. So is it something that they want to protect their name, or is it you know what I'm saying like a reputation? Yeah. Thing? What's the real? That's what. What's that's the what real it's issue? About. Yeah. What's the underlying issue? It has to be something issue. more than that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure like if it was one of they're just kids one of you know mm -hmm. their regular kids okay oh why didn't you speak on behalf and tell you know what this person you know what i'm saying you know I'm, you, yeah. you, I'm looking at it that way like what if it was one of their own oh so you're saying what if it was a white kid no it could have been just no just one of their own kids that, you know where he's at I, i'm looking at the quote right the quote. was well, he one of their own kids did he go to that school um yeah he did play for them previously yeah he did okay he did. So he was one of theirs, but it was, I guess, him being sentenced right. now to so the negative what, light. So that's what I'm saying. Is it because of this, their reputation? Yeah. That's so, what I'm getting. Yeah, because it, it has to be. Yeah, he did go to the school. Anyway, we're going to get up off this mug. I thank you all for tuning in and listening to Shop Talk. You got my girl, Ed. Where are you going to be at tonight, honey? Ooh, I'm going to be at the Smokehouse Bar and Grill in Pittsburgh tonight. Show starts at 9 o'clock. That it's is. It's the ignorant. Ignorant. Not ignorant. The ignorant. Easter comedy show. <laughs> That's your comedy. Ain't I holla? I got my boy Ron in the building, Shop Talk Woo! Crew. I got Britt Britt in the building, Shop Talk Crew. You gotta love it. I like to introduce the Shop Talk Crew so then that way you see you got a, a voice to a face. Uh, right. And I wonder if they're like, I didn't think they looked like that. <laughs> you know that. This dude. Oh, see what I'm saying? <laughs> dude, how many times you listen to somebody on the radio and they be sounding real sexy and then when you see them, you be like, oh, Ooh. record. <laughs> Yeah, I know my afro ain't looking quite bright, tight, but like, 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 but just when I though. thought, look, just when I thought she was cold, right? Like, I thought I had a girlfriend. You'd be like, oh, oh, we don't go together. We just right. broke up. We just like what? Oh, we just broke up. Hey, listen, visit the website at. Uh, www.shoptalkwithmail.com Like I said, you can always go back to blogtalkradio.com backslash shoptalkwithmail. Follow me on Twitter at shoptalkwithmail. Where else am I at? Instagram, Shop Talk with Mail. Facebook, Shop Talk with Mail. Hey, baby, just Shop Talk with Mail. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. I love you for listening. Peace.